Lesson 107. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Hi there. How many times have you heard that this is a world of illusions? But in the end, how do we lift the veil of illusions and reach the world beyond it? Have you ever thought that this realization is the only way to actually change what needs to be changed in the world we see in the first place? Let's dive into Lesson 107 to find out new enlightening insights from A Course in Miracles. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Only the truth can correct illusions, and errors are illusions that we don't recognize as such. When truth enters, errors vanish without a trace because they have no life if we don't believe in them. They just disappear, as if they were never there. From dust to dust they come and go, for only truth remains. Can you imagine what it would be like to have no illusions? Think back to a time when you felt completely at peace, loved, and safe, even if it was just for a moment. Now, try to imagine that feeling lasting forever, multiplied a hundred times, and then another hundred more. What would it be like? Now you have a hint of the peace your mind will feel when the truth has come. Without illusions, there would be no fear, doubt, or attack. When truth has come, all suffering is gone. The truth will fill our minds completely, freeing us from all false beliefs, fleeting thoughts, and dead ideas. They will no longer exist because the truth is everywhere forever now. When truth comes, it comes to stay. We can always depend on it for everything we need. In the face of adversity and uncertainty, we can count on the truth to correct all errors in our minds, and difficulties and doubts will simply vanish. Truth brings us the gift of perfect constancy. It's a love that does not hesitate in the face of pain but looks beyond it steadily and surely. This is the gift of healing, because truth needs no defense, and thus it cannot be attacked. Illusions can be brought to truth to be corrected, but truth stands far beyond illusions. We cannot bring the truth to illusions to turn them into truth. Truth does not come and go, nor does it disappear, change, shift, or alter its form. Truth does not hide. It's easy to grasp and impossible to miss for anyone who truly seeks it. Today belongs to truth. Let's give truth its due and it will give us ours. We were not meant to suffer or die. Our Father wants us to be free from these illusions of suffering and dying. Let the truth correct them all. We're not asking for more than what belongs to us in truth, so that we can recognize it. Lesson 104 I seek but what belongs to me in truth. Today, we practice feeling confident that we won't be fooled by illusions. Sure of our success, we walk in truth today and rely on its help with our hourly exercises. Let's begin by asking the Holy Spirit to be with us in our awareness as we invite Him. You are not made of flesh and blood and bone, but were created by the selfsame thought which gave the gift of life to Him as well. He is our brother and our Father knows that we are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you, and how could he be absent where you are? Truth will correct all errors in our mind, including thoughts of separation from ourself and from God. Let's speak to him today, and let's make a pledge to let his function be fulfilled through us. By sharing its function, we also share its joy. His confidence is with us as we say, Truth will correct all errors in my mind, and I will rest in him who is myself. Truth will correct all errors in my mind, and I will rest in him who is myself. Truth will correct all errors in my mind, and I will rest in him who is myself. Then let's allow him to guide us gently to the truth. The truth will embrace us and give us a peace so profound that we may find ourselves hesitant to return to the familiar world. Yet, we will do so joyfully, knowing that we carry within us the promise of the changes that truth will bring to the world. These changes will increase each time we dedicate five minutes of our time to our hourly exercises. As we allow the errors in our minds to be corrected, 
those affecting the world around us will be corrected as well. Let's not forget our function today. Every time we confidently tell ourselves, Truth will correct all errors in my mind. We speak not only for ourselves, but also for everyone in the world, and for him who will free the world and set us all free. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. How do you feel right now? Can you see how our function is all about allowing change to happen in our mind and our perception? The world we see is a projection of our thoughts. We cannot change the world without changing our thoughts about the world. The world is the effect, our mind is the cause. When we see pain and are lost in suffering, we need to remember, we don't need to change our circumstances to be at peace. We need to change the thoughts that are projecting those circumstances in the first place. First of all, we need to ask to be helped to see things differently. And all the change in the miracles we need will be initiated from there, brought about by this shift in perception that we asked for and that we allowed. The world of illusions will change accordingly. But the most beautiful realization we can have is that in the world we see and in the people we meet, we're seeing ourselves. Only if we consider this without love, could we resist this idea. With love, we would simply be overwhelmed with love, because we're seeing ourself in all others, we're loving ourself in all others, paradoxically in the most selfless way possible. Our self encompasses all the sonship, it is the whole sonship. Our self is love. You're doing great. See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick note before you go, producing these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation that fits your budget. Every contribution, big or small, means the world and helps keep this content coming. Thank you for any generosity you can offer. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.